uh, when I was about 12 years old, uh, this is about 1975, I was about 12, and my dad bought me this unique toy. Now, this is a sad video. My dad bought me this airplane toy, and what was so, un what was so unique about it, had a opening or a hole from the rear of the plane to the front of the plane. It come with a uh, a long rod gun. The, the the handle was plastic. You know, it had a trigger just like a gun. Anyway, on this long plastic rod, which was to, to the, the gun handle, uh, it had a strong spiral spring, metal spring. So you'd put the rod through the plane, lock it down, aim it, and it would take off like a rod. It was, it was a lot of fun to fly. Oh, it was fun to fly. And we lived here in Loveland, Ohio at the time. And uh, I don't know where he bought it at, but that, uh, it's like a jet plane. Oh, you pull that trigger, it ta oh, it'd fly. It flew so good, too. And it just didn't fly and drop off. It, it, it was like a glider, if you will. It, it was it was fun, though. And it gave maybe a little air draft, maybe a little light wind, and it'd go, it'd go pretty far. Well, one Sunday, my dad says, uh, Greg, he says, let's go over and visit Grandpa and Grandma. That's my dad's mom and dad, my grandparents. And they lived in Verona, Kentucky. My aunt, my, my aunts still live over there. My dad's sisters. Anyway, uh, dad said, let's go over and visit grand, Grandpa and Grandma. So uh, about a 90-minute drive, uh, Gallatin County, like I said, Verona, Kentucky. If you're on Interstate 71 East and West, you'll see a Walton Verona exit. You take that exit. Anyway, uh, my grandpa bought a house over there in 1967. And uh, the dead end road, a county road, paved road, but it's dead end. I don't know if my grandpa uh, got that road with the deed or not. I, I don't know. If if he just owns the if he just owned the property and or the road, and I believe he owned the property to the left because one time he cut a tree down over there. So I'm assuming he owned, of course, on the right side of the road, and uh, the the uh, land on the left side of the uh, of the uh, county road. I'm gonna call it his road because it's a county road, but they've been over there so long that they, I think they own it. I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, the uh, one time the state was gonna put a, there, it, it's like a hill. It's flat as you uh, start on the their dead end road. The the uh, road veers to the left in my grandpa's house, and the road goes up a hill. And my aunt lives uh, in the next house on the right, but the road goes up a hill. And then there's a, uh, uh, not a gate, but there's like a government, uh, it's been there for decades. It's been there for 50 years. Like a government, not a gate, a blockage. One time the state was going to put a bridge over the Interstate 71 and never did. But anyway, uh, my grandpa bought that place. Like I said, on the right side is all the houses, but on the left side is all wooded area. Well, anyway, we go over there, about a 90 minute drive. My dad, you now my dad says, you now all of us kids always played on that road. Uh, you know, it, it was the you never seen the general public on the road. All just my my relatives. That's all there was over there. Uh, nobody else had business on that road. Uh, you never seen it. Very rarely you see somebody making a wrong turn. But the general public, you just didn't see him there because my grandpa owned the area. All of us kids played on that road always. But anyway. My dad, my dad says, now, uh, fly your airplane on that road. Don't fly it in the woods because you might lose it. Yeah, he warned me, you know. But anyway, I was over there flying the airplane. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And as I was walking toward the house, the, the, I was getting to the wooded area on the left. Uh, for By accident... I pulled, I locked that plane down on that rod. By accident, I pulled that trigger, not meaning to. Didn't want it because I was near the woods. That plane flew so good. It was like a jet. 
went right into those in the woods were uh, thick woods pretty thick woods that plane just went in there as pretty just like a jet and i was 12 years old i was too scared to go in those woods of course my luck and just it wouldn't 10 minutes later because i was still looking in the woods see if i could see it from the you know from the outside of the woods just too scared to go in there my dad yells at me we're going home i start crying I guess a little, he, you know, he gets a little upset, but anyway, he tries to look for it, and my aunt comes out, and, uh, you know, some of my other relatives, my dad's sisters, they help him hunting for it, about 30, 45 minutes, they, they hunt for it, hunt for it, hunt for it, never found it, that was in 75, I go back over there in 1986, am I saying he ate right, sounds like I'm putting a TH on it, Say that eight was well, going to be a Y now. 1980. My tongue's a little sore, so please bear with me. Now, I go back over there in 1986. Am I saying that right? Yeah. 1986. No, I'm not going to play with it if I find it. I just want to see if I can find it. It's been it's been sitting over in the woods for 11 years. You know, it was a well-built airplane. You know, thick plastic. It ain't going to rot. It's going to be over there. I spend three hours crazy, I know. I had a stick with me probing every inch of that wooded ground. I turn over every leaf, every fallen tree limb. I look everywhere probe for any holes in the ground that may have slipped in like a small log i i looked in that log i looked under raised the log i combed every inch of those damn woods never found it now why wouldn't i have found that i mean I don't think a dog would have cared. Maybe. There's no dogs over there. Oh, they had one or two, but he, he didn't mess with anything. Shouldn't I have found that? It's a toy. It ain't going to go forever. It could have went a long ways. It's a toy. It, went, it flew good, yeah, but why in the hell couldn't we have... My dad, my aunt's. 11 years later, 11 years later, I go over there, I hunt, I hunt. Why couldn't I have found it? Never found nothing, nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know. Only, 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 ex, only exception to that rule, a dog found it. Well, my dad and my aunt looked all through it. They went in there deep because my dad said, how far? I said, went in there a long way, you know. Like, you know, I'm a 12-year-old. Yeah, Daddy, go, it went in there a long way. They go way back in there. I can see them looking for it. They're putting, you know, they're, they're, they're probing hard for it. You know, my dad worked hard for his money. I don't know what the toy cost, but, you know, they, they you know, you didn't want to buy another one. Probably kind of expensive, I don't know, but, you know, they're still looking for it. Never found it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, they say if we find it, we'll give you a call and we'll mail it to you. I don't know. Oh, uh, the, the only thing I can think, a dog, did a dog drag it off? I doubt it. Uh, the woods is really too thick, I think, for a dog to be back in there. If it was out in the field, dog got it. Pretty thick woods. Never found it. I looked my ass off. I don't know. It was 1986. We had no technology. I was a little bored. Something to do. I went, what the hell? Let me, let me try to find it. Three hours. I hunted. Probe. Where in the hell? I'm back. I'm back in the woods cussing. Where in the hell did you go, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Try to keep his family sorry. <laughs> I hunted, I hunted, I hunted. Where in the hell did you go? You know, I said hell probably a hundred times in 1986 in the woods. Where in the hell you at? 
I don't know. Just killing time. Thinking back my childhood, 11 years prior, before. Oh, yeah, going home. Yeah, I was crying. Oh, I was crying, crying, crying. My dad told me, four five, don't worry, son. I'll buy you another one. Never did. Yeah, he told me that. Just, you know, just, you know c c calm me down. Don't worry, son. He said, I'll buy you another one. Never did. No, never got another one. Probably just expensive. He just didn't say that. I guess you can't really blame him. He never bought me another one. No. At 12 years old, that was a painful loss for a toy.